Welcome to my Destiny 2 news video. In this video, I'm going to talk about Zer's inventory, trials rewards. I'm going to also talk about the information that was released in the weekly TWAB, which talked about the stasis subclasses, also an update that's going to be happening in September 8th. Now on to Trials of Osiris rewards. The map this week is Meltdown on Mars. For three wins, you get Exile's Curse. For five wins, you get the Helmet. For seven wins, you get the Gauntlets. And for going flawless, you get the Chest Armor. It is Friday and Zur is here with us. We can take a look at his inventory. I don't know what this Taken Disruptor Knight is doing, but he's awfully annoying. I don't think he's going to leave. Okay, it's Friday. Zur is here. Let's take a look at his inventory. He's selling the Sure Shot Hand Cannon. I used to use this all the time when this game first came out. It's still pretty good. He has the Gwizen Vest for the Hunter. Hopefully I'm close on that one. The Actium War Rig for the Titan. And the Controverse Hole Gauntlets for the Warlock. And that is Zer's inventory for this week. So now on to uh, this week at Bungie that was re released yesterday. They talked about the new gameplay trailer of the Stasis subclasses. We finally got names now for each of the classes. The Hunter is called Revenant. The Titans is Behemoth. And the Warlocks is Shadebinder. So it'll be pretty cool to see how these subclasses act like in the PvP setting. To see how balanced they are. What happens when you get frozen? How do you get out of a frozen state? Are you just instantly dead? Or do you have to spam a button? Or is it timed? So hopefully in one of their updates, they talk about how it is in PvP. The, over the next couple weeks, they'll be releasing additional details through dev diaries. And they'll be updating their uh, page at Bungie.net. And their first update is planned to be on September 1st. So far, I'm a little bit hyped to try out these new subclasses coming in September or November 10th. The next thing they talked about in, the, in this week at Bungie is a preview of an update that will be happening on September 8th. They're addressing the ornament glow. The picture that, that was shown in an Eververse store showed a greater intensity than what actually we got in-game. So they're going to revisit the glow intensity of these ornaments and enhance the in-game appearance to match the icon as close as possible. They also talked about sleeper nodes. One of the worst grinds I've ever did, but I did collect all 40 of them. But they're going to make it a lot more easier to uh, collect all 40 and get the unique emblem. Some other fixes they're going to be doing, they're going to be fixing an issue where player spawn effects would freeze in Gambit, fix an issue where the ADS on the Cold Denial Season Pass ornament was different than the base weapon model, Redrick's Broadsword will now be available to reclaim from collections, this will be locked in the first roll, rewarded for completing the Broadsword quest, so that's pretty cool. Spider will begin offering three weekly wanted adventure bounties, up from one, and they're fixing an issue that prevented the exotic perk on the merciless fusion rifle from trigger so this is an early look at the patch that will be occurring on september 8th now on to next week in destiny it's the final week of solstice of heroes earn your magnificent armor and bungee rewards you will help the awoken save sedia in the corrupted nightfall the ordeal and you'll feel the burn when team scorched and showdown return to the crucible and as always thanks for watching my destiny news video